Have you ever had an idea for what you thought would be a great business, but never got started? How about mapping out the lifestyle that you really want, only to never do anything toward getting it? Did you ever have the thought, wow, I'd really like to go for that. I think I'm okay where I am. I don't need to rock the boat right now. If you experience any of these, welcome to the fear of failure. And you're not alone. Every one of us has done one version of the above scenarios. Some things are not worth the risk of losing, but some things are when it can mean a better future for you. How do we tell the difference? What's the criteria we should use before proceeding? And what's the real reason we don't move ahead? There's plenty of reasons. Self-doubt, a lack of confidence, risk avoidance, being compared to others, fear of being judged, analysis paralysis, the list is endless. Susie Kassam says, fear kills more dreams than failure ever will. So how do we get past these limiting beliefs? How do we become the person and have the life we dream about? Well, here's some things that have helped me when I was hesitant to jump into something new and life-changing, and I hope they help you. First, know that you deserve to be happy. Before starting my new business in the 80s, I had a toxic boss who I couldn't and wouldn't work with any longer. That was a major push. Second, create a plan B just in case. You'll feel more comfortable and you may need it. Next, seek out mentors and people who have accomplished what you're going after. It will considerably cut your time to success. Start part-time. I think it's usually a good idea to keep one foot on the dock as you put the other foot into the new boat. And set realistic expectations and understand it may not be perfect on day one. Zig Ziglar said, you don't have to be great to start, but you have to start to be great. So here's your action item and mission should you decide to accept it. Got a big change or opportunity staring you in the face? Try what I just suggested. Get your support team in place. Focus on what could go right versus on what could go wrong. Put your battle armor on and take off. Nobody gets to their deathbed wishing they had tried less things. But there are plenty of people who get there with regrets for the things they did not try. When you're ready, know that I'll be rooting for you. Please share this. If you think others would benefit from a little reassurance on making big decisions, remember, one hand washes the other, and together they get clean. Thank you for watching. Have a really rewarding week, and I'll see you next time. And if you're watching this on YouTube, please don't forget to subscribe and like this video. With just a couple of clicks, you could be helping thousands of people. Thanks.